Hey, good Thursday morning, everyone. This is Mitch. Hope you guys are having a great start to your day, having a great week out there so far, and getting up and feeling well. I know I slept in this morning, so I'm a little groggy, but we're going to work our way through this video and talk about a couple things on what could unfold today. Not expecting a very active day, nothing compared to yesterday across areas in the Mid-Atlantic that saw a lot of damaging wind reports. So I hope you guys are faring well up there in portions of Virginia and the Mid-Atlantic, things like that. But uh, we're going to just talk about the heat, talk about some severe weather chances across the middle of the country, and really that's about it. So if you guys have not subscribed, definitely consider doing that. Like the video if you like it. You guys got anything I can pray about, please put it in the comments below. It gives me an opportunity to pray over it, and it gives others an opportunity to do so too. Hit me up on my social media links over here. It's a great way to stay up to date with the latest and greatest. Of course, when it's kind of slow like this, I'm not posting every hour, but when it's popping... You know, when we're trying to break down a hurricane uh, that's on the way to the U.S. or when there's a winter storm affecting areas, I'm providing constant updates almost every hour. So it's a great way to interact with me on there. If you haven't considered joining my channel, uh, well, it's there for you to consider. But I have 17 or 18 members. Of course, I know it's hard times out there for folks. So, you know, I completely understand if you can't. But I just appreciate y'all viewing anyway. So... Here we go. Let's look at, take a look at water vapor loop and see what's going on here. The ridge is flattened out. A trough has entered the northeast. A little bit more stable air has moved in, but you do have some clouds, some lingering moisture still flying through the northeast with the approaching trough. And uh, maybe some storms fire up for areas of the Carolinas today into Georgia. We'll see how that goes. But right now, just a general risk of thunderstorms might get upgraded to a marginal risk. We'll see how that goes. And then we're expecting some storms along the ridge boundary, the northern boundary of the ridge up here as some energy flies through and provides enough forcing for some severe storms in areas of Nebraska and Kansas. And we'll take a look at Storm Prediction Center and it shows this just that, <clears throat> a slight risk of severe storms occurring in this region. Everywhere else, just a general risk besides this marginal risk up here, marginal risk out here, and then over here, which is you know somewhat uncommon for this part of the country, but there you go. But there is a chance that, who knows, maybe somewhere in the southeast gets updated to a, upgraded to a marginal risk. We'll see how that goes. But let's take a look at the middle of the country and see how this can unfold today. And here we go. We're getting into this morning. Already have some storms moving through, maybe some showers. We're just going to look at the NAM with this as basically the Ridge Rider scenarios have really favored the NAM verifying. So I'm going to roll with the NAM here. And this is a Ridge Rider scenario where they are riding the upper base well, the upper areas of the, um, the upper boundary of this ridge of high pressure to the south. So um, as we're getting into this afternoon, more storms will fire up. Watch out um, Hastings, Nebraska, up there near Lincoln. These storms could make its way all the way up to Omaha. But any small town or city in northern Kansas and southern Nebraska, please watch out. These could produce a quick tornado. There is a 2% risk of a tornado at 25 miles in any given location in this region. But the biggest threat is damaging winds and large hail. But even that only has a 15% chance in this region right here, basically in this slight region right into here. But really, you know, the latest NAM wants to show one big dominant storm. Maybe another one develops behind it. So this might develop and kind of move uh, kind of north, uh, basically east-northeast, if you will, and uh, kind of straddle the Nebraska-Kansas line as it moves on through. And we'll see what happens with this. Does it make it to places like Kansas City? Uh, the NAM says no, it really falls apart overnight. So, you know, it's not really a big area to talk about, but please watch out. You know, if you're in this region of the country, right in the middle of the country, um, I could see some severe storms today. Let's take a look at the southeast and what could unfold today. I'm expecting as we're getting into about 2, 3, 4 o'clock in the afternoon, some showers and storms could form from Virginia all the way through North Carolina to the upstate of South Carolina. The NAM is kind of aggressive, and I know it's very hard to see. I'm going to get closer, a closer look at this here in a second because the NAM does not do look great on tropical tidbits for some reason. It's very high resolution, if you will, but uh, don't get me wrong. Uh, Levi does a great job of tropical tidbits, and the NAM just always comes out kind of weird on this site. But an area of storms really tries to get going later this evening south of Columbia, and we'll see how this develops. If that happens, that could pack a punch, especially with heating rising very quickly, a lot of instability rising up in this area. Maybe not a lot, but enough heating to really prime up the atmosphere for sure. Maybe some showers and storms over here in Louisiana too. Let's get a closer look at the Carolinas, um, and here we go. 
Well, getting into this afternoon right now, and look at all these pop-up showers and storms. Now, this is the AORR model, so this is what the AORR model is showing, right? So it kind of shows what the NAM is showing, too. It shows an idea of, hey, there is some, some areas are going to see some, maybe a storm, maybe maybe a heavy downpour. Some areas might not as this moves on through, maybe a stronger storm, shower storm, moving basically north to south. So it's moving due south through the Carolinas. So anybody could see it this afternoon. It's going to be hard to predict exactly where. And let's see if we can pull up the NAM for the same area. The NAM is a little bit more aggressive for this afternoon. You know, has um almost like a multicellular line trying to develop and sweep through upstate South Carolina, then making it through the Piedmont, North Carolina, and Central South Carolina. And these storms could be intense. Like, watch out, Orangeburg. Maybe later this evening, maybe a nasty line of storms moves through, and then it weakens as it approaches the ocean. But that's pretty much it after that. Um, to this morning, you're dealing with a line of showers that's moving very slowly, and it will since try to weaken this afternoon, and then you'll probably pretty much be done with the rain if y'all, as y'all have picked up a decent amount of rain over the last 24 to 48 hours, but uh, maybe some lingering showers this evening. But really, the only the most of the rain is going to really be confined to uh, eastern New York State. Maybe some showers scooting all the way down into New Jersey, the Delmarva area, New York City, and just some clouds up in this region today due to the. Um, kind of cloud cooled air the rain cooled air if you will north central u.s maybe some storms firing up later this evening that's why there's a marginal risk up here in minnesota um, so be careful especially later this evening as the sun's going down maybe a powerful storm or two could develop up here in this region but it's going to be very isolated it's not like you're going to get a widespread event so i'm trying to predict exactly where it's going to hit it's next to impossible but just be aware in this area today for sure um, South Central U.S., um, I know Texas needs rain really bad, but maybe in eastern Texas, some pop-up downpours are possible, very sporadic in nature. You're right under the influence of this ridge. Therefore, there's what we call pulse showers or pulse storms, so they'll pop up last no more than 45 minutes to an hour, and then they'll weaken and pop up somewhere else. So you're always hoping and praying that one of these pops up right on top of you in this intense heat and these drought conditions down here. Um, as far as temperatures today, um, rain cooled air for this part of the country, you know, eastern areas of Virginia, Washington, D.C., uh, eastern PA, New Jersey, areas of interior New York State, you're going to have a hard time getting out the 60s and low 70s due to this just clouds and rain cooled air and a little backdoor cold front. Um, so there's going to be a nice tight boundary right here in northeast North Carolina areas of Virginia where you'll have, you know, 60s and 70s, but then 80s, 90s, and 100s down here near South Carolina. So a uh, very hot day, probably a record-breaking heat day across areas of Georgia, especially where I think areas might nip 105 degrees. Certainly possible. Watch out, Macon. Uh, I think Columbia will get over 100 degrees again today. And then just scattered 100-degree readings all through the Deep South, Alabama, Mississippi. I think Nashville hit 100 degrees yesterday. So it was um, very impressive heat for that part of the country. And then maybe, you know, hitting 100 again in Dallas-Fort Worth. Watch out, Shreveport. And just very high conditions. So please be careful today. I should have pulled up um, uh, the watches and warnings. I still might can. Y'all never mind my um, winter background back there. I'm still longing for uh, winter time, that's for sure. <laughs> but uh, heat advisories up for the deep, deep south counties down here. This includes Dallas-Fort Worth. Shreveport down here in southern sections of uh, Louisiana, uh, southern sections of Mississippi, um, of the far southern counties down there in the coastal regions of Alabama, the entire panhandle of Florida, and the entire southern half of uh, Georgia has heat advisories. In fact, there's a part of Georgia that actually has, I think, excessive heat warnings. Yep, excessive heat warnings is out, so it's going to get brutal out there today. So stay, stay cool, uh, stay safe out there. As far as dangerous weather, not really expecting it today, but the heat can be dangerous. So God bless all y'all. Have you an evening video tonight, and uh, y'all have a great day.